Hey guys, this is Marshall from Berserk Reviews, and today I'm going to do an unboxing and install of the anti-glare film set for the iPod Nano 6th generation, which I have right here. So with that being said, I'll just talk about the box quickly. So here's the box, and here's the 6th generation iPod Nano. So you can just kind of see how big it is. And the box itself contains just the two uh, anti-glare film set things. Uh... Uh, anti glare is very nice, but sometimes you get this kind of weird rainbowy effect on it, which you'll, you'll get used to eventually, but it's not as good as a normal um, kind of screen protector. But overall, I just wanted to get this because my iPod Nano, I use it as a watch, and I don't want the screen to get scratched. So so here's the front of it. It's very thin because um, there's just the film sets in there, and it talks about the technology in it. And it says it has a scratch-resistant anti-fingerprint hard coat, a high-transparency matte treatment, a PET protection film, and a, a newly developed polymer adhesive that uses static to actually cling to the screen. Um, so at a price of $10, it's not that bad. I mean, you're getting very little material, though. So I'm just going to open it up here. Uh, come on. Very tough. Um, okay, I just don't want to get any of this glue on the screen. Uh, there we go. So, inside the box, that's it. You have the two screen protectors, which are in here. And it says, clean your screen with a lint-free cloth to remove dirt. Make sure you're... Um, so that's what I've already done. I already cleaned the device. Then it says, uh, peel back the larger screen off the screen film, align the edge, and fit to your screen. Uh, use a lint-free cloth, which I have right here, to secure it to the device. And then there may be some bubbles, but unless there's dust trapped on the film, the air bubbles will disappear over time. And if you want to remove um, the screen for any reason just uh, put a piece of tape on it and it'll come right off so I'll take the word for it and I'll take out one of the screens here so it is anti-glare and you can kind of see it already which is very nice so I'll take this see if I can get it on the first try oh, there's a little bit of dirt on there there we go should be okay now the thing about screen protectors you want to be very careful but what's nice about these is that you can always take it off and put it back on. Oh. Let's see if I can't get this uh, that air bubble. Um. Nope, nope. There's a little uh, hair under there, so I'll have to get that. Um. I'll just make a quick cut here. Okay, I'm back, and I'm gonna try this again. Uh, hopefully. So, just getting the. Oh, piece over there. Okay. So now I'm gonna try this one more time. Hopefully this one will work. Um, just wanna get this properly lined up. There we go. Pretty much on there. Um, there are a few little bubbles here and there, but as I said, those will go away. And let's see. And there really isn't any at all rainbowing effect. Um, well, you can't really see because the brightness on the screen is quite a bit, but the anti glare feature works really well. Um, I'll make a quick cut and just kind of turn on the brightness so you can see the anti glare effect. So, as a point of reference, I'm going to be using my LG NV3 with the flash on this because it is actually really bright um, there it goes turning on but you'll see how actually bright this is and you'll see that look at that the, the anti glare is working incredible and uh, incredibly sorry and if I take my iPod touch which uh, I just actually installed a Zag Visa Shield on there um, if I take that and just kind of show you that in comparison I'm just going to lay this down because I don't want to scratch the back of it because it is that kind of chrome. Um, 
There we go. You'll just kind of see the. Oh, didn't want to do that either, but just kind of see that's like the glare factor of it. But overall, um, the anti glare works incredibly well compared to the other any kind of other screen. So it's just uh, overall very nice. This has been Marshall from Pacific Reviews. Thank you.